Good morning, YouTubers. This is April the 22nd, 2020. Sheila Taxter here with Sheila's One Stop. Every Wednesday and Friday, there's new videos put out. And on Wednesdays, we talk about my book that I wrote, Life After the Mistake. And on Fridays, we do a motivational, transformational coaching session where I always bring a scripture along with some kind of insight to help you with changing your mindset. But I am a author, life coach, slash minister. And tonight on Wednesdays, or today, my bad, this morning, we talk about my book. And I wanted to share something. I, I'm going to read a little uh, excerpt tonight out of the book. I think it's chapter four. Uh, and it's the chapter four, and the name of the chapter is Hard Middles. And again, I'm writing a story about a lady named Shelly. And you, as you read the story, you will find out, you know, what all is going on with Shelly. You don't want to miss this book. This is going to be an awesome, awesome book. But I want to ex um, talk about how it is hard sometimes to write those hard stories and I think I put it on a blog post on my website here last Sunday that it's you know we always hear the stories about um, how it's hard to write about Uncle Joe because Uncle Joe did something to me or it's hard to write about our mother because our mother was an alcoholic or our mother was a drug addict or or she actually pimped me out, you know, and things like that. And uh, or our dad, our dad was never around. He was a druggie or he was abusive or he was a drunk and he beat us. He beat our mother or he molested me or something like that. You know, you, you hear and read those kind of stories a lot. But how do you write a story when it's you? when you are the one that failed. How do you write those hard stories? You do it with much prayer. You do it with looking and reading and trying to get all the information you can get to help you get through writing your book. And I will tell you, just sit down and start writing. If you got to write it with a pencil, if you're going to put it in a document, Word document, Google Docs, just start writing. And I promise you, the person that you need will come along beside you. Because they did me. I had no idea who was going to help me with this book. I just knew that I had to start. And I just started. And I probably had three or four chapters wrote before I met my first author. And then... I had then started on another book when I met the lady that would come in and take my first draft, my ugly baby, and, and make it pretty. And where I was like, the way I put stuff out there, I was like, I could cut you. You know, it, it would cut you if you read it. But she took it and she smoothed out the rough edges and she kind of padded the places that was going to cut. And she helped me structure that book. And then, uh, you know, I mean, this was like an eight or nine month process. And now it's been passed on to a proofreader editor that is in the middle of getting it ready to be published. So I, I'm, we're working. Don't give up. Everybody that's already paid me and paid for the pre-sale, it's coming. It's coming. And as soon as it's published and it's available for me to purchase it and get them in here, I will give them out to you. But what I want to do is I want to read just a little bit of um, excerpt here out of my book. And then I'm going to get off of here because I know everybody's time is precious and I want to respect that. And I want you to watch my video all the way through. So I'm going to read this little ex ex excerpt here. 
It's in chapter four and it's called Hard Middles. During those early years of Shelley's marriage, the physical abuse made Shelley feel like something was wrong with her. She often would not say what was in her heart or even speak at all for the fear of abuse. Shelley compared herself to other women that were single or married, and she always felt like she didn't measure up. They were smaller, taller. She imagined that their husbands or boyfriends were not like hers. Because of this insecurity, she always seemed to feel out of place. So that's a little excerpt out of my book, Life After the Mistake, New Beginnings. This is a story of a lady, and I wrote the story of this lady, but I can relate to this lady because I did it. I did those things. I did that thing, but God beautifully restored and beautifully, you know, brought a masterpiece from it. He brought me to where I am today, here at New Beginnings, here in Bible, Arkansas. He gave me a, a wonderful husband, and he's a pastor, and we pastor a church together. And I know that it's nothing but a God thing. But until Friday, y'all have a great day. Again, stay safe. We're getting close. We're getting close. We're getting close to getting out of this uh, virus season, and hopefully... We'll get to get out soon and go to the restaurants and go on vacation, wherever we want to go. But y'all have a great day. Have a great week. And stay tuned for, for Friday. I will be back with a motivational, inspirational, transformational mindset tip for you. Brought from, uh, brought from a biblical principles principle. Subscribe to my channel. Share this YouTube uh, video. And be sure to like it and stay tuned for all the new content that I've got coming up. And purchase my book. When it comes out on Amazon, I will have it on my website. I will have it uh, put in my uh, description and under my YouTube uh, video. I'll have a link to Amazon when it comes out. Y'all have a great day.